shepherds are poor and alone. They just can't even greet them because when they say hello, you have to go about because there's a mighty place of smell that is keeping you in your face. We are not so holy to them. But I want to ask you the question today. Do you understand who God's church is? Oh, I was hungry and in prison. You didn't visit me. You saw me in the street hungry and thirsty and dirty. I need to fix you up. I need to talk about you know how happy Sabbath. How are you? That's when you are in church. But 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 when you are driving, oh, it's not it's not not too dark. But I tell you, I'm a pastor a long time. I'm not a novice pastor. I'm a pastor a long time. The the, the drive with the windows up, the AC running, they can't see you. And you're starting to miss out of the bus stop. And you're starting to sweat, mommy. You sweat, sweat, sweat. You get all your sweat gone. You're thirsty. And you're almost dehydrated. Yeah. And you say, no, you need not run. And you take your time, start to hop. And then you say, you must not buy on the Sabbath. So you can't buy on the Sabbath. Now when you reach church, do work. <laughs> you got your answer. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, go on. Oh, you say, happy Sabbath. Go and find some water. And give them and quench the thirst. We like to minister to people with our mouths. But our lifestyle is a big contradiction. Life is being a prodigal. Because you see, the big problem is this. We like to preach about the prodigal son who went into the swine's feet and started to eat it. There is a worse prodigal. The brother that was at home was in a worse pain than the one that was out. The one that was out recognized that he needed to make a right about turn. And when he decided to come home, his brother at home, who is supposed to be teaching and preaching and welcoming him with an open heart, that brother started to criticize. So the question I would like to ask last church as I come down, I'm coming on a few, a few more minutes and I will shut up my mouth. And here I'm asking the one, we call the president of the one. You better call God too. You better pray for small ones too. Yes. Watch this stuff. We like to focus on the brother outside. But we don't realize that before you are truly converted, Simon, Simon, the Bible says, the devil has desire to sift you as we. But I have prayed for you, Simon. That your strength fail not. And when thou art converted, oh, you didn't hear me. He didn't say if, he said when. That's a short statement. It's a matter of time. But Jesus could look down in the immediate future of time to see that people would deny him. 